friendly message from Op Liberation. To you, Mr. Mac Ford. Yeah. We know who you are. Trouble is, everybody else doesn't know who you are because the mainstream media repeatedly fails. But you're one of those people that likes to use religion and have sex with children and beat the other ones that you don't like. Yeah. Hello again, everybody. It's almost Wednesday, and um, the topic this week is going to be New Bethany Home for Girls in Arcadia. Um, I'm going to read a few snippets here for you, and i got a ton of information to go through. Yeah, and I, and I have a feeling that some of our friends are going to dig up some more right here in the near future. Um, so, where was I before I get lost? Because, see, I get really upset about these type of people roaming around free. You know the ones with a lot of money and a lot of gold and a lot of lust for little girls and a lot of power in high places so that even when people file reports, they <laughs> they seemingly disappear. Yeah, we know about two of those so far. Two people who have uh, filed statements. And that's what it takes to arrest you, sir. And, and th th those... Nothing happened. We want to know why. We want to know why. You're still walking the street, you vile son of a bitch. Yes, we do. Who are we? Oh, we don't have a list. No. Pretty much everybody that becomes aware of you, Mr. Ford. Kimberly here. Um, just a few snippets. I'm sorry, again, I get upset. My name is Kimberly Ann Howard. I'm a survivor of New Bethany Home for Girls in Arcadia. I attended New Bethany from February 82 to April 89 and I was sent there by my parents as a result. Uh, though not sexually abused myself, I was aware of some other girls who were. Teresa Trahan, a female staff member, sexually abused different girls at different periods during my stay there. This was common knowledge and in some cases spoken openly among uh, the girls. Another girl, Kim Link, confided in me about sexual advances made by uh, brother Jewel. This later was exposed. He and along and his family left the home. Never reported to the authorities. The person that made me aware of the situation also gave testimony. They will remain anonymous. They're scared for their lives. They are. There's quite a few girls out there that are scared for their lives. People have ended up dead tied to you, Mr. Ford, from what I understand. See, I didn't know about all this till last night. Your place has already been closed down, I think, in 89. I've got to go through all the information. I was sent a whole bunch of it. And there's more over here that has already been put out. But again, your mainstream media fails. But Mr. Ford, we know I agree with this. Mac Ford deserves nothing less than imprisonment. Nothing more than labor camps, where physical and sexual abuse were rampant. Mr. Ford, still walking around. Still walking around. Horror stories all over the place. There's a million of them. All you're going to do is Google it up if you knew. Anyway, we're going to talk about it this Wednesday night. Let me get to that page. All kinds of pages up here for you and many more to go through. Wednesday night, 8 to 9 p.m. on The Voice of Humanity. I don't have a confirmed guest, but I have a whole bunch of information that was sent to me. And I want to bring light on this subject. And I'm going to hope that this will somehow go in front of quite a few of the people that were affected by this. And they can call in anonymously and just have a voice and speak. Um... Uh, I, I don't know, words Words can't describe the anger I get when you want to mess with our children. Um, there also, folks, has been a call put out for more information. <clears throat> like I said earlier, two people have filed reports. And um, statute of limitations, from what I understand, Louisiana law changed. It extended somehow. I don't know. That, uh, and I'm going to get this for you for Wednesday night so that you can understand it fully. But um, many girls right now could be filing charges if they knew. I don't know if they know. 
I don't know if they uh, will come forward. Two did and they were silenced. Um, I don't know where they are either. Again, this information was just brought to me last night. And as far as I'm concerned, um, other inf uh, let me, I'm getting sidetracked, I apologize. Other information that I uh, was told was that Mr. Ford would collect certain girls for parties with the elite. There was also, in the information, ties to other um, elected officials, district attorneys, assistant district attorneys. <laughs> yeah, you can see why the mainstream media wouldn't touch this, probably. But that's not justice, is it? And that's not truth, is it, Mr. Ford? <laughs> no, that's just a payoff. We need to find out who that payoff was to. That was the call. We need to find out who this man is paying off so that he can go free after he has sexually abused, physically abused, mentally abused countless children, many of them female, but the boys, too, if they get out of line. There's all kinds of information about that. And we'll go over a whole bunch of it this Wednesday night. To all of you that were affected by this, please have the courage to call in. Nobody's going to save your phone number. We just want to hear your voice. Much love. Many thanks. And um, Mr. Ford, be a good idea to expect us.